everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So today we are going to be doing our 2020 Christmas cage tours. You're getting a little bit of an overview right now, but I'm gonna walk you through this entire room and show you what I've done for everyone's cages and the bunnies area for Christmas this year. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we are starting with the baby's cage. So this is where Johnny and June live. I decided to go with this really, really cute Christmas Woodlands fleece this year, and I matched it with a nice red fleece. I did show you guys how to make liners using this fleece, and I'm super excited with how it came out. So let's break it down and show you exactly what's in this cage. So starting with their hay area, I have this little grid covering that I use as kind of a Heidi in their cage and I just have an extra piece of fleece up on the top to match to be kind of like, you know, the cover for that area. I have a red microfiber rug there that is from Amazon and I did make all of these fleece liners myself. The fleece is from Joanne. Then I have a gingerbread chew toy, hanging chew toy. That is from Twilight Chinchillas, and it's actually from probably four years ago, but I didn't have any specific toys for their cage, and I wanted to make sure they had a couple in here because Johnny is probably my biggest chewer. Then we have this giant hay bag that I made for them. I made it to be the size of two normal hay bags because I just thought it would be much easier to keep full and I just used this cute holly red and green print to kind of match the colors of their cage. Then I just have a red food bowl for them, their normal willow tunnel that they usually have. Then they have another Twilight Chin Chinchillas hanging toy that is a cute little gingerbread wreath. They have a snuggle sack that I made for them. And then they are both showing off right now with their Ikea bed. But they just have a little pad I made them underneath there. I just put some extra fleece up on the top to make it cute. And then they have a little Santa blanket and a little candy cane striped little pillow. Both of those are from Amazon. On the outside of the little babe's cage, I have this really, really cute sign from Guinea Pigs Weekly, which I will link down below. But it just says, Dear Santa, please visit here. We've been especially good piggies all year. And I put this on the outside of their cage because I actually don't have stockings for them, which you will see on the other cages. So I thought this was a good place to put this cute little sign. So that is Johnny and June's cage. I'll give you guys another little overview of the entire cage. I'm really, really excited with how it turned out. I love this fleece. I think it's super cute. And I'm just really happy with how all of their things came together this year. So there is a little overview and we are now going to move on to Georgie's cage. Okay, so now we are moving on to Georgie's cage. I'm going to just give you an overview right now and then I will show you the details just like I did with the little babes. And Georgie is not impressed with this right now. He just wants to take a nap. But we're gonna show them your cage, buddy. All right, so in Georgie's cage, he has cute reindeer and Santa fleece that you can see in the back there. I then just have a his rainbow tunnel in the front that he usually has. In the back there, he has just a, I think it's a dog toy, but a little reindeer toy in the corner. And then his hanging toy in the back is custom from Twilight Chinchillas to match their fleece. So you can see it matches that little reindeer down on the fleece and it's super cute. Then I just have a red food bowl for him. That chew toy is from Playtime Little Critter Creations ages ago, but he loves it so I always keep it in there. On the outside of his cage, I have a little pom-pom bunting that is from Amazon. And then you can see our stockings are hanging. I will link the Etsy shop where I got these down below, but they're super cute and they are custom. You can see Georgie's stocking looks like Georgie and Freddie's looked like Freddie. In his loft, he has partly Christmas fleece, but just because of the weird shape of his loft, I couldn't do, you know, entire Christmas fleece. 
but he also has another hanging chew toy from Twilight Chinchillas that matches the Santa on his fleece. And then I made him his own hay bag as well in the holly red and green print. Georgie really likes to keep it simple, so in his cage I just kept his green oversized igloo that he loves to lay in and then his normal willow tunnel and then he has his little caterpillar shoe that he always has. He likes the things that he likes and I don't really like to switch it up with him too much because he has specific things that I know he likes to chew. So I kept those in there for him. But I really do love his fleece as well with the Santa and the reindeer. So that is Georgie's cage. Now moving on to the girl's cage. So you can see we are using this Christmas moose fleece. I'm gonna give you guys an overview as we've been doing and then break down the details. But you can see they're all enjoying their new fleece. All right, so starting on the outside of their cage, again, I have a pom-pom holly bunting that I also got from Amazon. Then I have the girls' stockings. So these were the original four girls that lived in here. We still have Belle, Callie, and Lily in here, but I like to hang up all of their stockings. And then I do have this sparkly silver Christmas tree up here on top of their hay tunnel where they can't get to it to chew it or anything, but I just thought it was really cute and should be in their room somewhere, so I stuck it up there. So moving into their cage, we have a couple cute little Christmas beds. I cannot remember where I got them from, but I got them from Etsy, so I will double check and I will link the shop down below so that you guys can check them out. You can see Lily is showing off her cute little Christmas bed. So she has the Christmas tree bed, and then there is a Rudolph bed in the corner. Then there's just a little Santa from Amazon. We just have a green food bowl there. There is a chew toy up here in the front that is custom from Twilight Chinchillas. You can see it matches the Christmas moose on the fleece. Then they have their normal willow tunnel and a snuggle sack that I made for them in the cute moose as well. Moving to the middle, I used their normal pink hay tunnel just because that is just how I like their cages to be set up. This hay tunnel is from Twilight Chinchillas. I actually am hoping to get a plain white one sometime during 2021 so that it matches more cage themes, but it goes just fine. So I put that in here for their hay as usual. Then in this section of their cage, we have another snuggle sack, which Bell Pig is showing off for you guys. And then we have a little mug hanging ornament, which is from Target like four years ago, I think. And then another hanging chew toy from Twilight Chinchillas. Then we have this cube that I made them out of the matching Christmas moose flannel. They have, it's slightly different from the rest of their fleece because the moose have very specific Christmas sweaters on, which I thought was so cute and coordinated really well. So I made them a cube, and they have a couple Christmas chew toys as well in here. There is another hanging toy from Twilight Chinchillas, and then there's just some miscellaneous pads that match that I put in here as well. So I'm gonna give you guys one more overview of the girls' cage. I am just really, really happy with how the Christmas themes came out this year. I put a lot of time into making the fleece and trying to get things to match, so I am very happy with how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the bunnies area. So I don't have any fleece that I make for the bunnies because they tend to chew and rip up fleece. So what I did is took a fleece blanket I got from Walmart and wrapped it around an existing liner that I used for them. And it turns out really well and they generally don't bother it. And then I just put a couple red pads on their Ikea bed to make it a little more festive. They have their own stockings as well, and you can see they are customized to look just like them. The bun it's the only one that they have left, but the bunnies do also have this snowman chew that they love to chew up and toss around. And then the last thing that the bunnies have is this cardboard gingerbread house, which is actually a cat house. It doesn't quite look like a gingerbread house because I didn't want to put a bunch of stickers on it in case they chewed it, but I think it's a nice touch for the season. 
One other touch I do put in their room is this abominable snowman monster stuffed animal that I like to keep on their chair just because I think it's cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see our Christmas cages for this year. I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they are so cute and I'm excited to have them decorated now that it is the week of Christmas. So let me know what you think down below and if you decorate your pet's cages for Christmas. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye.